Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Jared Pauly's Fragrance Reviews. Tonight, we're going to be investigating a fragrance from the house of Pierre Cardin. This is known as Revelation. This is an eau de toilette concentration, which came out in 2004. This is classified as an amber spicy fragrance. So uh, this fragrance is a low profile gem, which is rich, powerful, and beautiful at the same time. I, in the past, I've gotten many compliments on this fragrance, but I did not reveal to people what the fragrance was. So this is a true sleeper. This is a great little fragrance. And to the best of my knowledge, I do not think it has been reviewed on YouTube. For me personally, I wear this fragrance great. It has excellent depth and longevity on my skin and it projects more than an arm's length distance. This is a reminiscence of a spicy, powdery, uh, 80s powerhouse, but with a modern twist. I'm going to take it out of the box here and give it a spray. It's got a very cool bottle. And it's got a built-in sprayer, so there's no cap. So initial spray is a strong dose, kind of a powdery spice. It's slightly minty but it's got this sour dirtiness, almost a pungent note, and I call it like the skankier or the smutty note, but it's very, very animalistic. As it dries down, it becomes slightly sweeter. The spice starts to taper off, but the animalic vibe starts to pick up, but the fragrance, it starts to develop more later on into kind of this raw, kind of a little bit floral musky, but it's got that kind of sweet, skanky vibe to it that is irresistible. It's something where you just can't stop smelling the back of your wrist. Some people may not like it, but they can't, they can't deny that they can't stop smelling it. As advertised, the top notes are star anise, artemisia, mint, and pink grapefruit. The mid notes are incense, basil, jasmine, and teak wood. The base notes are musk, sage, and Brazilian rosewood. So I'm just going to br briefly discuss two of these notes. One is Artemisia, which is part of the green herb fougere class. So it's also known as wormwood. This is a bitter herbal uh, note that emanates a strong vibe of absinthe and vermouth. The other note I want to talk briefly about is teakwood. This is part of the wood moss family. The odor profile is something of a make-believe blonde note, and it's woody as well. So what are my final thoughts on this fragrance? If you can find it, it's something that is definitely worth trying if you like a bit of that skanky vibe from the 80s, 90s. This fragrance is in the same genre of Chanel Egoist, in the sense that it does have that sweet, kind of smutty vibe. It is very, very animalistic. This fragrance has great performance. It's great value. And it's got tons of punch and kick to it. I consider it sophisticated. It's got great depth and power. And it's got that extra dimension that gives it pop originality and will get people to turn their heads or turn up their noses to get a smell of you. So if you have any experiences with this fragrance or if you like this video, just leave me a comment down below or hit the like button, the subscribe button, and notification bell. I'll always get back, back to your comments and questions. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.